In today's news, Pokemon Go technology could revolutionize lighting, smart streetlights to detect snowfall, and New York City gives the go-ahead for the first underground park. Lux Today is brought to you in association with GUI, and it starts in just a moment, so stick around. Augmented reality, the technology responsible for the Pokemon Go app, is set to take the lighting world by storm. IT company Cisco Systems said that it hopes to utilize AR to create interactive lighting control panels that can be viewed by users wearing special eyewear. Augmented reality uses digital technology to add visual objects to your real-world field of vision. In Pokemon Go, the game's colorful creatures appear in the real world via your phone's camera display. It's hoped that in the future, AR could also be used to allow people to alter the light levels of a fixture simply by gesturing. New technology is not only being used to catch Pokemon, it's also taking on Mother Nature. In the United States, innovative smart LEDs are to be installed to help clear snowdrifts. The intelligent fixtures are able to measure the effectiveness of snow removal using depth sensors fitted inside in-ground luminaires. The tech can pass any data it collects onto snow clearing crews, allowing them to know the best places to concentrate their efforts. The smart luminaires will be installed at the Westchester Mall in New York and the Castleton Square Mall in Indianapolis. One place that won't be seeing snow anytime soon is New York's first underground park, which has moved a step closer to being built. The Low Line project has been given approval by City Hall and detailed planning will now begin. It's proposed that the subterranean park, which was designed by architect James Ramsey, will be constructed on unused land in Brooklyn. The park will feature the remote skylight, which uses a system of optics to harvest sunlight. Then the light is reflected below ground where it's dispersed. The project must meet fundraising targets within the next year to maintain the city's approval. Lowline has been particularly popular on crowdfunding platforms such as Kickstarter, and the project will have to raise a steep $10 million to ensure construction goes ahead. That wraps things up. Lux Today has been brought to you by GUI, the IoT lighting people. Remember, you can get all the latest lighting news globally, 24 hours a day at LuxReview.com. I'm Courtney Ferguson for Lux Today. We'll see you back here at the same time next Wednesday.